I have been waiting for this day for a very long time. If you follow me on Instagram, the Twitters, or the Facebooks, you may notice that I have a 22 LR Gatling gun. I've known about this firearm for probably about eight months or so, and the Gatling gun is made by Tipman, and it is probably one of the coolest 22s that I have ever shot in my life. And I want to thank Copper Custom for sending me the Gatling gun to play around with, and if you have any questions whatsoever, go check out Copper Custom because they made this video possible. But what do we have here? We have a Gatling gun. Uh, the Gatling gun is not full auto, but it is probably the closest thing to a legally owned machine gun without a tax stamp that you can own. So every time you crank the handle, it goes pow, 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 pow. Okay, it has six barrels, and the only barrel that fires is the bottom right-hand barrel. So when you crank it, not all six barrels fire. If you don't know anything about a Gatling gun, so basically this one you can work in reverse. It will not fire in reverse, but I am going to show that it will go in reverse. So every time you crank it, it goes around like so. If you crank it forward, then it goes pew. I don't want to crank it forward because it's not good to dry fire any kind of rim fire, but it does come with the front sight. And believe it or not, it does come with the rear sight, but I took it off and I put me a right on red dot on it. So it's time to merge the centuries together from 2023 back to 1861 when Mr. Gatling invented the Gatling gun. But this is chambered in 22 long rifle and it comes with these little plastic links. These links you can pop off like that, and add on. Uh, they come with 50 round links or 100 round links. But if you get a bunch of these together, you can get some that are, you know, if you want to keep buying the links, 9,000 links and you'd have 9,000 rounds if you want to. So it's just like Legos for men, but you simply pop the rounds in and they're real easy to load. And once you load them, put them in here like this and you always want to load it brass to the grass. And once you put it in there, you start cranking and firing. Now you do have a windage and elevation adjustment right here, but we're going to have some more fun with this Tipman Gatling gun. I know I've talked about it enough. Let's do some more shooting. All right, let's have some more fun with the Tipman downrange. I've got about 25 or 30 helium balloons filled up. Um, several years ago, I watched the movie Up, and I was just thinking to myself, I had a full auto 22 or a Gatling gun 22 right there. there. I wonder how many balloons I could pop. I don't know if I'll be able to hit all these balloons or not because I can go left or right, but I can't go up and down. So here we go. Got my ears in. Okay, good and sighted. Here we go. All right, go down just a hair. All right, I got like a few shots left. I gotta make it count. Oh. <laughs> Not gonna be able to do it. I left too. I was trying to fine aim those last two, but <laughs> that thing is really, really fun. Finish them off. The reason why the Gatling gun was created was to put a lot of rounds down range really quick. But the bad thing about the Gatling gun is this. It's hard to aim, it's really hard to aim. So I've got right down here uh, a red plate rack. I'm gonna try to hit all those plates on that plate rack. So make sure my zero. Can't get that last one. <laughs> I can't get that last one, okay. Let me take my time, let me lower it down just a hair. And there we go, oh, nope. There we go. All right, I'm gonna dial the optics all the way up to 100 yards. And I'm gonna try to hit that big yellow plate at 100 yards, being pretty rapid about it. All right. I think that's good. Let me lock everything in. The table's a little wobbly. Let me see if I can hit that 100 yard plate. There you go. 
I'm wearing it out. Once I moved it over to the left about, I guess probably about a foot, I was wearing that plate out. You probably saw that, that LED light up. That is the new flash bang LED um, indicator light that Caldwell sells. So let me set up another target and let's do some more shooting. All right, I have a magazine belt fed clip loaded up with some CCI stangers. And I've got some soda down there. I'm gonna to try to wipe them all out with the Gatling gun. Here we go. I left a couple on the top. I guess I needed to raise it up a little bit, but that made short work of those sodas. All right, I did this shot uh, for Instagram and Facebook, but I wanna see if I can do it for you guys here on the YouTubes. So every video, I try to hit that four inch plate at a hundred yards. And people are always questioning the accuracy of a Gatling gun. And believe it or not, I actually did it on the first shot um, doing this for Instagram and Facebook. But for here for the YouTube, I'm gonna to try to do it. I'm gonna to try to hit that plate, four inch plate at a hundred yards with this Gatling gun. Try in every video with every gun I shoot, so might as well try it with the Gatling gun. All right. All right, I think that's about, about where it needs to be. Can't tell, can't tell where I'm going. I think I'm going high. Let me lower it down just a hair. There you go. Hit it. 100 yards with the Gatling gun. I was just going right over it. So it can be accurate. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to take it squirrel hunting this year. No, I'm going to change my mind. I am definitely going to take this squirrel hunting this year. So if I can shoot a squirrel at 100 yards, hit it again, I think it will take care of those tree rat problems for me. All right, I mentioned that I may or may not take the Gatling gun squirrel hunting this winter or not, but I'm just thinking to myself, if I'm walking through the woods and I see a squirrel like we have right here in front of us, about 40 feet, I got a little red squirrel out there. What kind of damage could I do or could I keep all of those rounds on that squirrel where they just be firing everywhere? So here, let me demonstrate. Yeah, yeah, I, I think I would've got that squirrel. I'm glad I missed one, because I am really hot and it is really humid in Tennessee today. All right, so what did we learn about the Gatling gun? Gatling guns are cool, they're fun. Uh, again, I wanna thank Copper Custom for sending this to me where I can play around with it, but a couple things I need to mention. I think the design of the belt is brilliant. Okay, so every time you crank this guy down, it ejects the rounds out of the bottom of the Gatling gun. Actually, if you get like a dud in the belt, it doesn't bind up the gun or keep it from working or you don't have to clear it. It just ejects it right out of the bottom of the gun. So I think that is a brilliant design. I guess the bad thing for everyone watching this video is the cost. These aren't cheap. Um, this runs about $4,500. So a lot of you right now uh, are very upset that you watch this video because now you want a 22 Gatling gun and they are $4,500. But Tipman is making these things as fast as they can and putting them out. They're on back order for like years. Well, no, I don't think about years, but they are back ordered quite a bit. But one day, hopefully, if you watch this video, you will also own a 22 LR Gatling gun. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. It's a little bit different than what I've been usually doing, but I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions whatsoever, put them in the comments below. Go to my Instagram page, Facebook page, or Twitter pages and ask them there. Until next time, y'all be safe and keep blinking.